Hello boys and girls, this is Stefman123 with another League of Legends video for the Total War Tracker. Today I'm going to be playing Corky, who's this little guy here. It's the first time I've played Corky, so I'll probably suck ass, but we will see. So um, usually Corky would take middle, but I'm going to take the bottom lane with it being the first time I've played him. So we'll see what happens. There's already a bit of shit going on up here. Pantheon's running in to have a bit of a scout. So the first move I've took for Corky is Phosphorus Bomb. Deals 80 magical damage to enemies in target area and reveals stealthed enemies and reduces their chance to hit by 35%. Another <coughs> Minions have spawned. Okay, so I've got first hit on Jax, but we've been pushed back straight away and I'm low on mana. So now I'm just going to minion bash for a little while and try and stay out of the way. I always like to try and get that first initial hit on people to try and scare them a little bit. But it seems like it hasn't scared them too much, they're still coming pretty close in. So with it being the first time I've played Corky, I'm going to be trying to play pretty defensively. So don't expect any um, major runs until I've got a bit more used to him. The only thing with Phosphorus Grenade is it uses quite a lot of mana, so it's depleted it very quickly. So it's probably a bad idea to take that first. I did quickly read his spell list before I started recording, so I've got a bit of an idea of what he's capable of. I'm just going to turn my audio down a bit because I can't actually hear myself speak at the minute. That's better. Still got my heal up, so I'm still fairly safe at the minute, so I'm not too concerned. But these guys are doing the same as I was planning, um, playing defensive, so I can't really just hang back and hug my tower at the minute. Oh, 
got another phosphorus grenade off on him, so that's put him at quite low health. Which is lucky for us, but what I'm expecting Twisted Fate to do is use his teleport to warp in next to me and absolutely destroy me. We'll see what happens. From what I've read, once I've got my ultimate, I'm pretty much set because I can spam that to shit. But I'll explain more about the ultimate as I unlock it and start using it. The only thing I don't really like about playing against Twisted Fate, that card move has got some bloody big range on it. And the recharge rate on it is actually really fast. Oh god, I've had to waste my heal. But hey, that's the nature of um, the game. Corky's got really low health, so I'm going to be using my heal up a hell of a lot. One good thing about this lane at the minute is Jax isn't really helping out um, Twisted Fate very much. So that's good. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us. But I'm not planning on any major pushes until I've got my ultimate up. Alright, that's Twisted Fate on low health, but I'm not going to chase him into the tower and finish him. I'm just hoping he recalls now, so we get a bit of leeway, which he hasn't done, he's dropped a heal by the look of it, but that's not bad either because it means his heal's gone, so next time we're going to be able to um, take him I hope, or at least back him off a long way. Okay, so I'm at um, five and a half now, so I'm not very far off my ultimate at all. And once I've got that, I'll be able to start doing some real damage. Okay, so Jax is hiding in that bush. He's just going to run straight away, that's cool. Okay, I'm literally right near my ultimate. Yes, I've got it. So that's cool. And what the ultimate is, is Corky stores a rocket every 15 seconds. And for every three rockets you use, the fourth is a super rocket. So I pretty much want to be spamming this until I get my ultimate rocket. So I'm going to use it on minions, I'm going to use it on pretty much everything until I've got that big ass rocket. Right, I've got my big rocket now. But I've got no um, rocket stored. I've got to wait for the 14 seconds to get my rocket back. Now I've got one to fire. Okay, so she's having a bit of trouble in mid. So we've got a second character going there, which is a bad idea in my opinion, because we've got two enemies there. 
want to be careful with this um, big rocket because I don't want to waste it like I just did there we go that's Jack's down this other move that I'm taking here is my um, basically it leaves a trail of fire behind me if I'm getting chased I'll drop that and enemy, any enemies chasing me will receive damage from the fire so that's pretty handy because most people will back off when you drop that Okay, Twisted Fate's back in. I'm sure that's his name, but I'm not positive. I'm just going to keep calling him Twisted Fate. <laughs> I think I said in the last video, Twisted Dice. I don't know why I said that. Because he's using cards. <laughs> I'm going to let him push me back, because I don't honestly think I can take him on my own. That was my machine gun fire, and that, as well as doing damage, um, takes fi um, I think it's one percent of the enemy's armor away for every second it's on them. Something like that. Anyway, I'll read it when I die, cause I will die. All right, so I'm gonna start spamming these rockets again. Alright, I've got my ultimate rocket again, which is cool, because that'll do a mass amount of damage. I'm hoping that they're going to jump on her and gank her, so I can get my rockets on. But hopefully, when I've got a little bit more mana, Ajax comes. Oh, bloody minions got in the way. Well, that's the way it goes. Twisted Fate's coming in. Back him off. Jax is using the same tactic every time, so we're pretty safe against him at the minute. Oh, shizzle, I missed with my big rocket again. See these rockets do major damage so when I get my big one off they'll usually go down pretty easy. It's just a case of aiming right because it's a um, skill shot. Uh oh. Oh we got people over there, that's cool. I thought we had an empty lane there. There we go. See what I mean? That big rocket took probably half of his life.